Well, the handles on that wheelbarrow have definitely seen some better days. I think it's time to build some new wheelbarrow handles. So let's scrounge around and see what I can find to build those handles with. And I found just what I needed. The handles are about 60 inches long and I found this 2 before, just a scrap 2 before head lying around. So we're going to get the nails out and we're going to get busy. Well, it looks like I've got the nails and screws out of the 2 before. So we're going to get ready to cut this down. I tell you, I don't normally like to use used lumber on my table saw just because if I miss a nail or a screw, I'm going to mess up my blade. But today, we're going to live dangerous and we're going to break a few rules. First, I want to cut this to length. I know my handles are going to need to be about 59 inches long. So let's do that first. And we'll make this cut over at my miter saw. Okay, I'm here at the table saw, and what I want to do is rip this board along its length, the the same distance as the thickness. So let's set up the table saw. All right, we'll get the height of the blade just above. And then, just want to set this in here. Use the two before as a guide. Set my fence. And we'll be ready to rip. Now we should have two pieces that are going to be inch and a half square. As you can see on the handles, there are going to have to be several holes drilled for the bolts to come through. These bolts are going to attach the tub to the handle to the stands. And you're going to have two bolts right here and that's what attaches the axle and then you're going to have another bolt all the way up here that attaches whatever that piece is so we're going to measure up for those holes okay I know approximately where I need to drill my holes so I'm just marking those out All right, I've got my marks set here, so I'm going to transfer them over to the other handle. point drilling the holes. I drill out the holes. You'll notice these handles are kind of rounded at the end that's for the grip makes for a more comfortable and easy grip so we're going to start on that to do I've got my piece checked up right here in my bench vise 
and we're going to start with a draw knife and just kind of get it to a rough shape and then we'll we'll work it with uh, a rasp probably and some sandpaper and then we'll just start shaving It's difficult if you hit a knot. Now I'm going to use my disc sander just to shape out the handle a little bit better. The draw knife was just to get it to a rough shape. Just kind of check the fit in your hand. Feels good. You can get your hand wrapped all the way around. You're done. Now I've just got the, some 80 grit sandpaper in here. Gonna clean these up a little bit so that they take some finish. You can tell the bolts got pretty rusty. You know, like carriage bolts that makes them rather difficult to remove because they, that square just doesn't really bite into anything anymore. So you could replace these with regular hex head bolts of the same length, but uh, I'm just going to reuse these. See all this on the video.
right, we're just about done. I think what we're going to do is put some boiled linseed oil on, and this just helps protect the wood from the weather. You're going to want to put it on a time or two a year. Uh, if you leave it stored outside, you might want to put it on a little bit more often. We're going to put one coat on, let it dry, and then probably tomorrow we'll put a second coat on. Pretty simple. I like to have gloves. This stuff really uh, sticks to your hands. And uh, when you eat your sandwich for dinner tonight, you're going to taste boiled linseed oil. So I recommend wearing gloves and just no cloth. And we'll put it on pretty heavy, wipe it down. And uh, that's going to be about it. I like to use this on all of my tool handles, especially tools that uh, stay in the cold shop. Uh, or get exposed to a lot of weather. And seed oil is a pretty good way to protect your wood. All right. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, I also do some of my projects on Instructables. This will also be on Instructables. And I plan on putting a link in the description on the video for that. So. You can head over to Instructables and get a little bit more detailed information there. If you like this video, or any of my videos, let me know. I'd like to know that uh, you liked them. If there's something I can improve on, let me know. I'm pretty new at making videos. Well, I say pretty new, I'm not real new, but uh, I haven't made a whole bunch. So, uh, I know I've got a lot to learn on video making, but I do enjoy doing it, and I like to hear from people. So, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up, pass it around, and subscribe. Thank you.